Hey guys, how you doing? It's Focus, giving you this Cersei run commentary, showing you how to do the Happy Hippolyta feat. It's really not that hard once you really get the hang of it. First thing you want to do is get the healing crystal from the first boss, not to explode it. Just drop it right here next to the gate. Let the cutscene start. Now you can use this video for any boss combination, whether it be the Archer or the Brawling. Harpy or the Cyclops, it really doesn't matter as, as, as long as you do it by the book. Like I'm going to show you. It's really not that hard. First thing we got to do is kill the first wave. For the second wave, kill the campaigner first. Lead the guard to the gate. And kill the three guards one by one. Which I'm going to show you how to do. It's really not that hard once you really get the hang of it. And the battle is going to start right now, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, first you want to do, kill these people. You know, it's not that even hard. As you can see, she came to me. And she's down. Alright, second wave. Get the campaign her person. Be careful because she's right next to the health barrel, so... You want to keep in mind for that. Watch out for those AOEs. Now for the, the guard, all you basically got to do is just block break. Try to get the Aggie to grow as much as you can. Hopefully, they'll, she'll lunge at you. As you can see, the Harpy's in the way, but as long as you keep on block breaking, you're you're the main character, so the, so the ad is going to come to you, so don't even worry about it. Just keep on doing it. As you can see, I got the aggro. Hopefully, it will lunge. There we go. Now she's at the gate. Now it's really important not to bring out the pets because you know they'll mess up the aggro. So, but you could summon them right now. So yeah, after she's dead, the three guards come out. One next to the gate, two in the back. See, now you see why it's important to come to the gate. The two in the back are staying in the back, and we can just face this one by itself. Okay, the harpy just exploded the health barrels. That's fine, you know. This is basically the easy part now, just trying to pick them off one by one. You can use your ads for this one, it doesn't really matter. Just kill them. Now, if your harpy was damaged in any way, just let, you know, just let it rest for a while, get it nice and healthy. It looks like it has enough help, so we'll just go to the second one. Carefully go. Don't get too close because you don't want to aggro both of them. Just aggro one. So just, it's basically the same thing. Hopefully she'll lunge at you. If not, it's, it's okay because the other one is not even coming nowhere near where they're fighting, so... Just keep on doing this block break. Let the ads do most of the work. Okay, see, she came. Even better. She'll go down. And she is dead. All right, again, if the harpy's damaged, just let it rest up for a little bit. It looks like the health was pretty good, so I'm gonna just attack. Now, all you want to do is really just block break from a distance. Make sure you're close to the gate because as soon as you kill this one, the boss fight is going to start. And you don't want no, the aggro on the harpy as soon as it out, from the gate, up, out, out of the gate. So, basically, as you can see, the harpy's not really doing much because it doesn't have the aggro. Alright, it's probably going to get it. You're up. There we go. Now you see. So when it gets close to it. That's alright. We got a safe distance or whatever. Alright. Now it's the boss fight. Let's let the harpy rest for a little bit. And the harpy seems like it has full health. But you get the point. Alright. Let's see. Is it the brawling or the bow? Uh, it's a bow. It's fine. It's fine either way, though. Just get your ad, get the ads to do it. Just keep lock breaking them. 
You have to watch the bow though because that AOE attack is crazy. It will sometimes one shot the harpy, but as long as you have the health barrel close to you, you'll be fine. As you can see, I'm basically halfway down. Just keep on with the block breaks. Let the ads do most of the work. The harpy seems to be doing fine so far. Probably won't need to use the health barrel, but you know, it's nice to have a nice little insurance there. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much done. I'm gonna just use it anyway, just cause didn't really have to, but you know, why not? All right, he's pretty much dead. See, the harpy's still alive, didn't die once. Do that with the Cyclops and the Harpy again for both of the bosses, and you'll get the feet. It's pretty much easy once you use this guide, and that's about it. I'll see you guys later.